In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you three powerful new features Google has recently released, which have most likely passed you by, but could make a massive difference to your online visibility. If you want to know what they are before your competitors find out, just stay tuned. Hi there, if we're just meeting, my name is Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, where I talk about the best tools, tips, and ways to help you promote your local business online step-by-step step and click-by-click. Click. On this channel, I cover everything any local business owner needs to know from search engine optimization to social media. My goal is to help you thrive online so you can drive more visitors to your business and ultimately make more money. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Finally, don't forget to check out the description below, which is where I put additional notes and links I refer to in this tutorial. If you're ready, let's jump right in. Feature number one, add a request a quote button to your listing. If you are a service provider, such as a handyman, a landscape gardener, or a consultant of any kind, you're going to love this feature. You can now add a button directly into your Google listing so people who come across your profile can request a quote for a service you provide, which will be sent to your phone in just one click, as you can see on the screen. For this new feature to be activated, you need to do two things. First, if you haven't done it already, install the Google My Business app on your phone. You can find the links to the app for both iOS and Android in the description below. Once installed, log into the app using the same email address you use for your Google My Business listing. Once you've accepted the terms and conditions, you will be redirected to a panel where all the information regarding your Google listing will be displayed, such as the latest activity on your profile, your business reviews, reporting, and so on. I won't cover them all today as it is not the topic of this video. The second thing you need to do is to enable the messaging option on the app. To do this, tap on the customer tab at the bottom of your screen. By default, you should see your customer reviews listed in there. At the top of the screen, tap the Messages option. On this screen, you should see a note for the messaging feature. Allowing this feature will enable customers viewing your listing to message you directly, respond to questions, share information, and quickly connect for free. Tap the Turn On button. This will automatically turn on the messaging functionality and enable the request a quote button. Now go to Google and search for your business. On your listing, you should see a new blue button right under the reviews labeled request a quote. Visitors can now submit their request directly to you using this button. As soon as they do, you will receive an instant notification on your Google My Business app to which you can respond straight away. If that doesn't impress your potential clients, I don't know what will. Let's now have a look at our next feature. Feature number two, questions and answers auto-suggests. A few months ago, Google added the option for users to ask questions to a business directly from the Google My Business listing. Most businesses I have worked with are totally unaware this option exists as part of their listing and consequently ignore it. This is a true missed opportunity since most of the time the questions being asked are very specific and very often could lead directly to a new sale or getting a new customer. Look at this second-hand car dealer, for example, who has three unanswered questions, all of which could have led to a potential sale. But this is not new since FAQs were launched in Google My Business a few months ago. What's new, however, is that Google now auto-suggests answers to your visitors using a combination of your previously answered questions, if you have taken the time to answer them, your customer reviews, as well as your Google posts. Let's have a look at one of my clients' Google profile who is an electrician. If I start asking questions using the question and answer box, I can see suggested answers from previous answers, from various customer reviews, as well as from Google posts he has published on his listing over time. What does it mean for you as a business owner? Make sure you create regular Google posts with rich content relevant to your business. Collect Google reviews from your customers, which will include answers to potential questions future customers may ask. If you want to know how to do this, watch my video, how to include keywords in your reviews. And finally, 
add the most common questions your customers ask to your Google listings yourself and provide the answer as Google allows you to do it. Moving on to our last feature. Feature number three, increase your number of followers with an offer. Did you know customers can follow your business on Google Maps? This feature is even less known than the FAQ feature I've just covered, but nonetheless not to be ignored. Just like on a Facebook page, people can follow your business by simply tapping a follow button when they find your business on Google Maps through their phone. But why would you want customers to follow your Google listing? Because your followers will find out about your latest Google My Business posts and promotions in the For You section on their Google Map app. This means the more followers you have, the more likely you can generate business. But this is not new. What's new is the ability to create a welcome offer to incentivize new visitors or existing customers to follow your listing. And here is how it's done. Open the Google My Business app on your phone or tablet. On the bottom menu, tap the option Customers. On the top menu, tap the option Followers. You should see your number of existing followers in there. Tap the option Create a Post. In the middle of your screen, scroll through and select the option Welcome Offer. Create your welcome offer, including an image. I'm going to use an image for a 10% discount that I have created earlier. Then add a title, a description, terms and conditions, and everything else that you think is relevant. Once you're done, tap on Publish and wait for the confirmation message to show. The next thing you need to do is to encourage new visitors or your existing customers to follow your Google listing by letting them know that if they follow you, they will get a special offer. You can do this via an email with your existing customers or add a banner to your website or even publish a Google post to let anyone who comes across your Google My Business listing know that if they follow you, they will get a special offer. Once someone decides to follow you, they will receive a notification and this is what they'll see. Pretty cool, right? If you want to test this yourself, why don't you follow my Google listing and see what kind of message that you're going to get. That's it for today. Google is clearly spending more and more time and energy into developing its Google My Business tool and consequently, I am almost certain they will end up monetizing it in the near future. Make sure you make the most of these new features while you can and include them as part of your strategy so you can keep an edge on your competitors. I hope you found this useful and until next time, happy marketing.